A collection of stamps consists of 5 cent, 13 cent, and 18 cent stamps. The number of 13 cent stamps is 2 more than 3 times the number of 5 cent stamps. The number of 18 cent stamps is 5 less than the number of 13 cent stamps. The total value of all the stamps is $1.68. Find the number of 18 cent stamps. So the first thing we need to do is label our variables. So we want to let x be the number of 5 cent stamps. Now, notice that the number of 13 cent stamps is can be written in terms of the number of 5 cent stamps, right? It's two more than three times the number of 5 cent stamps. So, we can say that three times the number of 5 cent stamps plus two is going to give us the number of 13 cent stamps, right? And then we know the number of 18 cent stamps is 5 less than the number of 13 cent stamps. So it's going to be 5 less than this 3x plus 2, right? So we're going to have 3x plus 2 minus 5. And that is going to give us the number of 18 cent stamps. All right, and simplifying this, this becomes 3x plus 2 minus 5. This is just 3x minus 3. So now we've labeled our variables, and we should now come up with a table because we're looking at, we're eventually going to try to find the value of the 18 cent stamps, and we know the total value of all the stamps. So now we need to write each of the stamps in terms of its value. So what we can do is construct a table. So we want to construct a table. where we talk about the number of stamps the value of each stamp and then the total value and I want to do this in cents right so for example if we're talking about the five cent stamp We know that the total number of stamps is x, and the value of each stamp is 5, 5 cents. So the total value of, of the stamps is going to be 5 times however many stamps there are, so 5 times x. Similarly, for the 13 cent stamps, there are 3x plus 2 stamps, and they're worth 13 cents each, so the total value is 13 times 3x plus 2. And then finally, for the 18 cent stamp, the number of stamps is 3x minus 3 as we figured out. They're worth 18 cents each, so the total value is going to be the value of each stamp times how many stamps there are. 3x, 18 times 3x minus 3. So now, let's go back to the problem. It says the total value of all the stamps is $1.68. And remember, $1.68 is 168 cents. So what we can say is the total value of 5 cent stamps plus the total value of 13 cent stamps plus the total value of 18 cent stamps has to be equal to 168 cents. So now we solve. Since this is a linear equation, this is something we're used to solving, right? So let's distribute um, this 13 and this 18 into their appropriate sums. So we get 5x plus 39x plus 26 plus 54x minus 54 has to be equal to 168. So combining like terms, we have 5x plus 39x plus 54x. That's going to give us 98x. 
and then we have 26 minus 54 which is going to give us minus 28 and that has to equal to 168 cents so then solving for x we want to add 28 to each side so we get 98x is equal to 196 and so dividing both sides by 98 we get that x is equal to 2. So now we solve for x but let's look up top what was x? It was the number of 5 cent stamps and what are we trying to find? We want to find the number of 18 cent stamps. So basically what we want to do to find the number of 18 cent stamps plug x is equal to 2 into the original uh, formula for the number of 18 cent stamps, right, which was 3x minus 3. So then 3 times 2 minus 3, that's 6 minus 3, which is 3. So finally, we want to say there are 3 18 cent stamps in the collection.